we're going to talk now about creating short videos. And um, everything we've talked about has really been about uh, text. And so this next section is really about the visual component of LinkedIn. Social media is so much about video. And so, uh, and LinkedIn has increasingly become about video like Facebook was before it. So uh, talk a little bit about how you can use AI to create videos. Okay, so the way that you use AI to create videos is there's a particular, there's a lot of different tools that do this now, and there's more coming out. And we have a few tutorials inside our course on specifically how to use these particular tools. Um, but the one that I personally found very useful is called opus.pro. Video is also very good, but opus.pro is exceptionally good because it's one of the few tools that allow you to take any YouTube video. So you have a YouTube video on YouTube. You take the link, the URL to that YouTube video, and you copy that URL and you paste it into opus.pro. Then you click on create clips. What it will do is it will look at the entire video and it'll find the most viral parts of those videos. And then it will edit it down. It'll add captions. You know what captions are? You know when it shows um, the text of what the video says? But it'll do it Alex Hermosi style, which means it adds colors and it adds emojis and it adds um, emotion to it. And it'll take the best 30 to 60 second clips from that video and it'll make 10 for you. And it'll give it a virality score. It'll tell you which one is most likely to go viral. And then you can customize the video a little bit. You can edit the colors, you can edit the text, you can edit what it says. And then you just press save and you download the video. And then you can put it as an Instagram reel. You could put it as a LinkedIn short video. You can put it as a TikTok video, as a YouTube short. And this works exceptionally well with like, for example, a Zoom interviews. So I don't know if you guys get interviewed all the time. I personally get on like 100 podcasts every single year. People have me on their podcasts all the time because I share solid information that's actionable and people love having me talk to their audience. And so when I'm on a podcast, often that podcast will also go on YouTube. So, or I will get a copy of that video. I can take that information from YouTube, paste it in here, and it'll just generate a bunch of clips. I take the best three clips and then I post them on LinkedIn. And then I have AI write a post about it. So really, really powerful uh, tool that really, really helps me. Somebody said, Devorah just asked, do you cover this in your course, Joe? Yes, we have a tutorial on how to use opus.pro um, and also a tutorial on how to use video as well. So we walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do it. Brian said, we got introduced to using Pictory and video creation. I'd be interested to hearing the two versus Pictory. There's a very big difference because... Victory is not taking a YouTube video and cutting it up for you and editing it and making it Alex Hermosi style. It's you're putting in a prompt and it's generating a video for you. Uh, it's very, very different than using a tool like this that will actually find the most viral parts of a video and edit it down for you. So the editing process is not perfect. I still sometimes need to cut the clip a little more or mess with the clip, but it helps me find the best parts of the of the video very quickly. Uh, Michelle said, I use video.ai frequently. Is there a big difference between vid and opus? Video.ai doesn't allow you to copy and paste a YouTube link from the last time that I saw it didn't allow you to do that versus opus.pro. You can now both upload and you could, um, you could upload a video and you could also import a YouTube link, which I personally find makes it much easier for me to be able to edit videos. Um, are, Joe, are those tutorial videos available on your YouTube channel or where can folks find them? No, they're inside our course. So we have 20 so, uh, different tutorials. Um, if you go to newaicourse.com, you can find our course there. Um, and we have 20 separate tutorials there that walk you through how to use Otter, how to use Midjourney, how to use uh, runwayml.com, how to use copy.ai, how to use Jasper, how to use Opus Pro, how to use video. How do you use Dolly? How do you use ChatGPT? Comparing ChatGPT to Google Bard, all that stuff. I have many, many more. So I'm not going to get into every little detail of it because I want to make sure that I give you guys the max amount of value. But, you know, like if you guys are getting interviewed, by the way, what is the topic that you get interviewed on? In the chat, go ahead, put that in. I'm always curious to know. If I was going to interview you, what are you an expert on? I'm an expert on LinkedIn marketing. I'm an expert on artificial intelligence for business development. I'm an expert on B2B marketing. What are you an expert on? So Rosemary's an expert on public speaking. Teresa, mindset for success. Certified B Corporations. Robert's a domestic manufacturing. 
get people to interview you. Get them to interview you. Use AI to write up the questions for you. Get them to interview you. Then use video or opus.pro to make clips and put those clips on LinkedIn. Very powerful. Um, Lynn said scuba diving Um, for beginners. By the way, I'm an open water. I'm a certified, I'm a PADI certified open water diver. Um, For those scuba divers here, Melissa said, me too. I used to be afraid of uh, of the ocean, and now uh, and now I love I love uh, diving. I love going in the water and diving. I went in Maui. I went diving in Maui before the fires. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys for interacting. Um, quick question from Eldad um, about emojis in LinkedIn. Um, I know emojis can work really really well on other platforms. Uh, what's your opinion about emojis in LinkedIn? I believe that if you overuse emojis, people don't like it. LinkedIn is a professional social network. You don't want to overuse emojis. Emojis work really well on Facebook and Instagram. You want to use them with class and with tact. It, they do stand out. Emojis definitely stand out, especially in comments. They stand out, or especially in your hook. A lot of people are using emojis inside the hooks. I would, I would not use it all the time. Just use it with caution, because if you're using it too much, it looks a little childish or it looks too playful for LinkedIn. So I would use it, but don't overuse it. 